What is going on, everybody? Welcome to yet another gameplay stream. Uh, I know we uh, we haven't streamed for a while. We came back yesterday, and it's really fun to be back again and, and streaming, hanging out with you guys. I know uh, I certainly missed it over the break, but uh, really excited to be jumping back in today. Just a couple things I want to remind you of. JDC is going to be starting that season four of the JDC on Monday, January 11th. That is this coming Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern on our Twitch channel, here on our Twitch channel. Uh, we will have all the new uh, players coming in and introducing themselves and hanging out and having a great time, and we'll also be kicking off our first draft. Uh, the theme for the week one, uh, season four week one, is going to be uh, uh, keyword tribal. So we're, we're taking exceptions now in Discord as well. We've got a little Google form if you'd like to suggest them there. Uh, for keywords that you'd like to see people draft around to make jank decks around. So it's going to be a really good time. I'm really excited about it. We also have a card hunt uh, that we are working on kind of getting the, the infrastructure for. The, the last piece is really just to get the boxes in, uh, and they should be here tomorrow. So I'm hoping we can get a live stream for Nicol Bolas God Pharaoh. Uh, we are going to be giving away the Nickel Bolas as soon as we find it to someone in the chat. So just a heads up, if you're interested, uh, please make sure that you uh, you stay tuned for when that live stream will be. Not exactly sure quite yet, to be honest. So we will uh, get that information out to you guys as soon as we can. But regardless, lots of new stuff happening for 2021. Make sure you're checking out our YouTube channel. We've got tips, videos, things like that there as well. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into... The deck that we are playing today, we are jumping into Historic again, like I said. Uh, and the deck we're trying out today uh, is a really fun one. It's Sultai Control, essentially. Uh, so we've got a lot of the same pieces that you would expect to see in a Control deck. We've got our Thought Seizes, we've got some Fatal Pushes to deal with the early game. Uh, we've got Eliminate that to, to kind of deal with a few of the early game Planeswalkers as well. Growth Spiral to give us a little bit of ramp. Uh, we do run 26 lands in here, so we've got a pretty high count, enough that uh, we should be able to, uh, you know, hit a land off of this pretty pretty reliably. Talk about Torment in a minute. Uh, Murderous Rider as a 3 of. This is just a great addition. It, it provides us a little bit of lifelink on a creature later on, but uh, most importantly, it's just a really nice kill spell for both creatures and Planeswalkers. Uh, so we should be able to deal with most permanents that we run into, Aside from artifacts and enchantments, that's the one thing that we struggle a little bit with, but thankfully Maelstrom Pulse does give us at least some way to do that, and we do have two of them in here just in case. Uh, we do have two Extinction Event, which has kind of become the, the standard like four mana black uh, um, sweeper. Uh, for a lot of good reasons, it exiles a lot of the creatures, which is really good. It is only ha I mean, you choose Otter Even, it's only going to be one of those, but I think it's worthwhile. Uh, and then we also have Bantu's Last Reckoning as a three of. Now, I'm just going to be honest. I am trying this uh, 100%. This is not necessarily like a great card to try, but uh, I thought I'd give it a shot. I just want to see how it goes. It doesn't synergize super well with the deck, but being at three mana, uh, you can really get out from under a lot of those like goblin decks, things like that pretty quickly. So just wanted to give it a shot. We'll see if it works. Uh, we do have Narset in here as a two of. This is to shut down draw on the opponent's end, but also dig through and make sure that we can find answers. Because we have got a deck full of answers, uh, it should be pretty easy to find whatever we need with Narset, so I thought now would be a good time to try her out. And then at the top end, we have Nissa who shakes the world. Now, this is to ramp us, also gives us a few extra creatures as needed, and can pull out lands if we actually get to ultimate her. In playtesting this deck, I actually did get to ultimate her once or twice, which was kind of nice. Uh, because, again, getting out all these lands and then tormenting for just a ton is kind of the goal. Uh, so, did provide some some useful interaction there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but the big finisher here is Torment of Hailfire. So, uh, this card... When it was first released, uh, I believe in Hour of Devastation, um, it was a really interesting card because it's very polarizing. A lot of people thought it was going to be really, really good. Some people thought it was going to be really bad. It certainly found its home in Commander, uh, where you can hit multiple opponents at the same time. Any multiplayer format, Torment is amazing, but uh, was it quite so good in Standard? And even in Historic, we haven't really seen it do much, but... I wanted to try this out here. Uh, this isn't necessarily an all-in version of a Torment deck. I think if we were trying to do that, we'd be ramping a lot harder than we are. Uh, but it is kind of a fun way to try and do it. Control the game a good bit and then Torment for a decent amount if you can. Uh, so we're not going to have anything where we're just tormenting for like 20, most likely. 
Uh, but we should be able to torment for a decent amount and hopefully, again, get the opponent down on life or resources or whatever they actually have. So should be a pretty positive thing uh, for us. So that's the goal. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, like I said, 26 lands. We do have the cycle lands in here. And just for a little bit of card draw, we've got Castle Lockthwain. So that's what we're looking at. We're going to give it a shot. I didn't play test this deck as much as I often do play test our decks. So uh, we'll see if this actually does well at all. It may not. Uh, in which case, that's fine. We're going to do the best we can. Uh, hope everybody is doing absolutely fantastic today. And really excited to be jumping into this deck. So we will keep... We could start off with the Zagoth Triumph. Uh, kind of a nice, just gives us all of our colors right away. Makes it really nice and clean. Here they get to pull something out. I'm sure it's probably either Fatal Push. I'm, it has to be one of these two, but we'll see which one they're actually going to go for. Um, my thought would kind of be Extinction Event, but either way, they're not in great shape. I mean, we've got plenty of removal if they've got creatures, so feel pretty good about that. <clears throat> Okay, uh, Murderous Rider is pretty good, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just throw this out there. This gives us double Fatal Push as an option, uh, and we can Clearwater Pathway to get extra lands out if we need to, or extra things out. Here, uh, we'll just throw out a tapped Breeding Pool. I think that's fine. This is going to be, I think, a bit of a slow matchup. If they've got things like Thought Erasure, then we're probably in a situation where... It's going to be a pretty slow, grindy game. Uh, we'll discard a Fatal Push. I think that is fine. This is clearly a Surveil deck, uh, which is great. Nothing wrong with that. Go ahead and play this. Uh, proactive or Reactive? Jimbo, it is much more reactive. Uh, does have some Thought Seizes, things like that. Um, but definitely heavy, heavy on the removal. And then just looking to control the game until we can get that Torment of Hailfire down. So... Definitely a more reactive game plan. Uh, my guess is this might get countered. Just a thought. Uh, yeah. And that's fine. Uh, we need to burn them out of some resources here. That is fine. They get to sur surveil and put this back in their hand, which isn't great, but um, they're clearly not going to have a whole lot of uh, creatures out, I don't think. So we should be pretty safe. Jimbo, how are you doing today, buddy? I hope you're doing well. Okay. I assume they take Murderous Rider here. That seems like the best bet. Definitely the safest play. Yeah. And they may just get us out of resource denial. They're doing a lot more to our hand than we're doing to theirs. Uh, so, you know. Uh, doing alright, thanks. Standard Wednesday, how are you? I am doing great. Uh, and yeah, I feel you. It's a pretty... Pretty bland Wednesday, to be honest, but that's okay. Should have maybe cycled at the end of their turn, because they just get to play Disinform- Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. It's fine. As long as they don't Thought Erasure, we're okay. <clears throat> um, interesting deck here, this Surveil deck. Normally don't think too highly of Surveil in, um, in Historic in particular. It just doesn't seem great. Uh, but... You know, I've been wrong plenty of times before. Definitely going to try and kill this now. Sure. This is a problem card for sure. I mean, this is just a big dumb creature. So it makes it really difficult for us to really do anything about it. Um, also, mistake early on in the game. I played the clear water pathway. I should have played the murk water pathway uh, to give us an extra black. Something to think about. We do have quite a lot of black. Uh, pips in this deck, so it's very important to uh, to play the black when you can. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna keep assuming that Fatal Push is really not the most efficient way to get rid of their creatures, especially if Doom Whisperer is kind of their, their optimal play here. Yeah. Quick snap off the Nissa, that makes sense. And that is our second Nissa, which means we do not have any more uh, for the deck this time around, which is fine. Um, should be able to at least make something happen here. Okay, Bantu. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but uh, given the deck that we're up against, this is a nice little easy discard for us. So, that is fine. Hostage taker. Okay. 
Certainly hate to see that, but again, worse things have happened. Um, they just get to play it again here, I assume. No, they don't. Hmm. Because Car Rosal's remains in exile. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and thought seize here first. Uh chances are this might bait just a counter. Uh which is fine. But we'll see. They're really thinking about it. I think they've got a pretty good handle on the game here, to be honest. Um, just given all the discard that they've got available to them. But if we can get rid of this disinformation campaign, uh, suddenly we've got at least a better shot. Um, I do think that's what we take here. Um, just so they're not continuously discarding our stuff. Now we can safely hold on to answers in our hand, hopefully, um, for at least a little while. They do have the Sinister Sabotage, and that's fine. Um, just means that we're going to have to fight through a counter, but I'd rather fight through that than continuous discard. Uh, let's go ahead and try this. My guess is they may counter this. Yeah. And that's fine. Um, I'd rather them counter that than the Bonzi's Last Reckoning that we're about to play. So. Sure. I really like a black source here. Torment. Um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and Bantu's Reckoning. Get rid of all this stuff. Right, get our creature back. They can just kill it here, and that's fine, but we're just kind of burning their, uh, their resources as well. So we might be able to fight through this. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm kind of surprised they killed it, honestly. I thought they might just uh, hostage taker it, and then they could have just played it. That seems a little better, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and thought seize. Hmm. I'm going to take the hostage taker. We have plenty of removal to deal with the uh, phantasm here. That's fine. Uh, this is a pretty wimpy hailfire. Whoops. Hold on. It's a pretty wimpy hailfire, but we are going to go ahead and fire this off for three here. We've got a follow-up one, uh, and I don't want to play Bantu's Last Reckoning just to kill a Phantasm. That seems very, very bad. Uh, if they have a counter, they'll burn it here, and that's fine. Um, okay. Hit a land, and then obviously hit them for six here. Uh, which does put us in territory of being able to just torment. Oh, wow, they sacrificed the Phantasm. Interesting. I don't know that I would have played that way, but that's fine. We're just going to do it again. We keep drawing them. We're going to keep playing them. How is everybody doing today, guys? Anybody doing anything exciting today? Anything super fun? Let's see who's here. Dawn, I see you're here. Quirk's fine. I see you guys are here. Calling you guys out a little bit. <laughs> uh, hmm. So we can do this for four times three. That's 12. That doesn't quite get it done. Uh, the other option is to Bantu's Reckoning here. Get rid of the Predator and then hope they brick. I don't love that, but I am going to do it. I kind of want this last Hailfire to be the Hailfire, um, if we can help it, so we'll see. Extinction event, nice, be able to get rid of some stuff. Thankfully this deck can fight through a good bit, um, which is certainly helpful. Let's go ahead and do this, see what they've got. Probably just a land, they might be sandbagging here. Oh, okay, that's better. Uh, and I will go ahead and exile this. Let's make sure it's even, just to be safe. All right. One, two, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. This is an interesting game, that's for sure. <laughs> Lots of back and forth. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, also, just as a quick reminder, if anybody would like to subscribe, we do have quite a number of packs here. We've got three Commander Legends packs, thanks to uh, Creeper, who sent them in as a as a Christmas gift, which we certainly appreciate. And we've actually got two Guilds of Ravnica uh, packs as well, so if anybody would like to subscribe, we will open up a pack in your name and see what we get. Alright, that's really bad, because now we're pretty much dead. Unfortunately, we did not sequence properly, so that's probably why, but that's okay. Probably should have held on to the extinction event, honestly. Yeah, all right. Well, we lost. Anti-hype in the chat, guys. We didn't get it. Anti-hype in the chat. All right. Let's jump back in. Let's see how we go. Uh, that was a pretty long game, to be honest. Chances are these games are all going to be a bit longer, and that's fine. Alright. Matt Mark 87. Let's see if we can take him down. Alright. What do we have here? Uh, yeah. We'll keep this. Uh, this is... An interesting hand for sure. Um, I'm actually. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. I know this seems a little weird, but given this, we're gonna fatal push right away. Okay. I know we're taking a lot of damage here, but uh, we're we're ramping pretty heavily into. Hopefully a very strong next turn, or turn after, we'll see. Really? That's interesting. Go ahead and play a Zagoth Triumph. Okay, Temple of Deceit. I'm gonna do this. Let's see what we get. Nissa, that's not bad. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and Scry here as well. Sure, I'll keep a Thoughtseize. Uh, interesting, interesting. So they can just attack Narset down to the point where we can't really use it, which is fine. Hm. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's see what they got first. Okay, let's get rid of Linden. It's actually pretty good. I mean, we're losing a lot of life to ourselves here, but uh, we're getting rid of a lot. And now they just have nothing. Uh, if they get a creature, they can certainly equip up this mirror shield, and that's fine, but... Alright. We're getting very dangerously close to where Torment of Hailfire should be able to do some major work. Um, let's go ahead and get this out. Let's go ahead and plus up here. Uh, let's play you. And no attacks, obviously. Alright, so if they brick, we actually get to hit for quite a bit here uh, with Torment of Hailfire. So, let's see what happens. Alright, so this is for 13. Might just do it. I'm not adding it up. Uh, also, quick reminder, you're about to get a link in the chat. If you want to pick up a shirt like this one, uh, you can certainly do that at our store at 1 o'clock. That will be going out. Heck yeah, we ranked up to plat. Let's get some hype in the chat, guys. We did it. We did it. Very happy. Very, very happy with that. That's exactly what we want to be doing, is just tormenting like crazy if we can. Nissa really helps us do that. It's worth noting, we probably could have more Nissas in the deck and be perfectly fine. Uh, but, um, wanted to make sure we had enough stuff to try out. Uh, that I think uh, I like the general configuration, but I do think some fine-tuning would be helpful as we go through this. Uh, hmm. Let's try this. It's a bit slow. 
let's just clear clear that up. But I will start off with Zagas Trium. Get that down. Okay, that helps tremendously. Go ahead and do that, and we'll pass. This just allows us to play Eliminate this turn if we'd like. Which we'd like. Definitely don't like this cycling deck. It's very annoying. Um, I've always hated this cycling deck. Uh, I'll do this, and we'll see what happens. Sure. Would really like to get some Thought Seizes here, uh, so we can strip away some of their stuff. Um, if they don't play a creature this turn, that's fine. We'll cycle away this Zagoth Trium, most likely. They're just trying to pump stuff into their graveyard, so that way uh, they can Zenith player for a ton. Um, unfortunately, unless Torment is doing like a ton of damage, it's not going to do enough to, to truly matter here. So I'm just going to throw this out very safely. Leave up the Murderous Rider. We're not trying to win right now, so I'm not going to just play this out as a creature. I'd much rather be able to deal with whatever they've got going on here. And this is a prime example. We just get to fatal push away this flourishing fox. Um, which chances are we could have waited on that. But that's fine. Alright, we're going to Nissa. We are going to plus up I think just a castle lock plane here. It does have vigilance, so I'm perfectly happy to go ahead and attack here. And now we do have the option to torment for a good bit here. If if we can get one more land, I will be tremendously happy. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a pretty good one. Um, taking a bit here from the stinger, and that's fine. I really hate this cycling deck. I think it's terrible. Um, but that's okay. It's doing great here. Alright, so it's not going to give us quite as much as we'd like, but it's okay. Do it for seven, which is pretty good. It does give them something to think about. I mean, they're gonna have to do something here, but they're gonna get down as low as they can first, I'm sure. And if they just have a Zenith Flare, we could very easily just be dead here. <laughs> Okay, hit the stinger. If they just have Zenith Flare, I'm a little worried we might just be dead, but hey, did the best we could. I think that's exactly the right play, to be honest. Yeah. They had it. That's what I hate about that deck, is if you have the Zenith Flare. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, let's jump into another game. Uh, so far, we're one and two, I believe, which isn't great, but I just realized our... Uh, do this there we go there's that link i don't know why that didn't show up uh, if anybody does want to pick stuff up that's a great place to do it you can check out a lot of information on our website jdc uh tournament structures there a lot of different stuff uh this is a great starting hand actually um little light on land but we've got the the gross spiral to help us with that so let's go ahead and thoughts ease. okay don't like any of these um but i think we definitely take nissa first we can kill the uh, the Florahedron if we need to. I'm gonna go ahead and thought seize again. Let's get let's go ahead and get that out of there. Play Florahedron, that's fine. Like to draw land here, that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and narse it. Great, fatal push. Perfect. More efficient than Bantu. 
Don't really want a reckoning for a 1-1 here. <laughs> oh, well, maybe we do. Go ahead and pull Anissa, and we're bonding. Unfortunately, obviously, we lose our lands for the next turn, but they're also pretty well stuck here on, looks like, Llanowar Elf. So, not too upset about that. I'm going to go ahead and take the opportunity just to kill this. Why not? Before they get a chance to double their mana. All right. Well, we did it. Yeah, that was efficient. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into another one. See, we are at the 25 minute mark. Going to be hanging out for pretty close to an hour. We'll see how long. Um, so we'll have time to get a few more games in. But overall, I do really like this deck. We're 2-2 two and two right now, so doing okay. Um, we did get to see Torment kind of do its thing, which was exciting. Hmm. I think we keep a little bit weird. Again, a lot of threes here. Uh, but this is a three heavy deck. I mean, that's where we get a lot of our stuff. Um, but thankfully, we should be able to kind of accommodate whatever they end up having. Uh, if it's anything creature based or permanent based, really, it should be pretty good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and thought seize here. I'm not tremendously worried about this, to be honest. Don't really care about a lot of these, to be honest. Um. We'll get rid of that, because that does kind of put a damper on things for us. It just makes it indestructible, which is kind of a problem. Okay. We might just Bantu here. Kind of surprised they've got a Shatter. Seems a little odd, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna Bantu. They've got no creatures in hand unless they just drew one, which they didn't, so now they're just off of resources. Next turn we can drop Nyssa and really start doing some work, I think. Um, though I'll be honest, there's a world where we don't actually create a creature. Uh, and I actually think that's... I'm going to submit zero. Uh, I don't want to lose our lands, and they've got a shatter. Uh, we don't have to actually animate any of these lands, so I'm going to take that opportunity. Uh, let's do this. Submit zero again. Uh, and yeah, we'll just pass. Got Murder Strider plus Fatal Push left up. Feel pretty good about that. <clears throat> and clearly they're kind of missing out on something. Uh, we'll bottom that. Don't need it. This is a great place to be as well because uh, we've got a second Nissa kind of in the back here. So, uh, once we ultimate this Nissa, we can just drop the other. And then we're in really amazing shape. Uh, we'll wait. Let's do this first. I'm going to go ahead and cast Nissa in. Whoops. Enters tapped, 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 tapped. Play another Nissa, and now we've got indestructible animation, which is pretty good, as it turns out. Um, <laughs> we're just going to pass here. I might cycle this away if they just don't draw anything. All right. We just get there with Nissa. Easy peasy. Jim, yeah, they, uh, <laughs> good timing on that comment. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, they just didn't have anything. I mean... Once you strip away those creatures in that kind of deck, it's uh, it's kind of all over for them. If they just brick, which thankfully they did on our end. But all right, I'm liking this deck though. This is a fun deck. Um, I don't. I mean, Torment isn't the best in a one-on-one -on -one format. Uh, no doubt about that. But I do really like it here. Bit of an odd hand. Um, but we are going to take the opportunity to Thought Seize right away here. Ooh. I don't like a lot of these. Um. Hmm. Yeah, 
It might just be the Bolus's Citadel. The Wild Growth Walker we can deal with, so it's really just between these two. I think it's the Citadel. Uh, the Karn is something they can play a lot sooner, so there was a very good argument to be made there as well. But And here, excuse me, we have three Nissas. My mistake. We uh, have a little bit of a clog in our hand, unfortunately. All right, let's go ahead and eliminate. We want to do this now before they play Enter the Unknown. Just to keep him off of that. Um. Sorry. Our dog just barked a lot. <laughs> and it's still barking a lot. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and do this. Alright, and we passed. <clears throat> um, our dog is going crazy. Somebody is at the door, clearly. Hmm. That might have been a little, little extra. We probably didn't have to do that. Um, given that they've got this is a Citadel deck, that Maelstrom Pulse is pretty important for us. Ugh, we are just bricking on lands, unfortunately. <laughs> All of these big mana cards. This is the, the worst possible scenario for us. <laughs> I'm just going to Torment for two just to do something. They're just going to take six. So they don't need the Citadel, so what do they get here? Okay. This is a really nice uh, play for us because this is a problem for sure. Uh, but here they're either going to lose their Karn. Okay. Well, that worked out. Um, but this doubles all of our greens, so... We should be able to play around this pretty easily. And hopefully get a really big torment off this turn. That's fine. Alright. Oh, does that not... Okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I see. Alright, let's do this. Untap this. Tap this for two. Alright, so it costs two more, right? So it costs four. So we can do it for six. Torment for six is decent. Um, it definitely means they're going to have to do something here. Or get rid of some stuff here, which might just be these Lanoir Elves, and that's fine. Um, that's a big enough play that that makes it a little tricky. Okay, they got rid of a Karn. So that's three, four, five, six. Okay. So now they're obviously down to a low life total as well, which makes it their Citadel a lot worse as well, so... Again, hopefully just keeping them off of this long enough that we can hit them with another Hailfire and really get some, some good damage in. Alright, we're going to do this. Just go ahead and do this. Uh, we might as well add one more. Alright, so now we can do it for eight. That should be enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's enough. We did it. Getting there with the Hailfire, honestly. This isn't bad. Um, it's not great, but I think it I think it works pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. Alright, we'll do probably one or two more games, depending on how long it lasts. A uh, bit of a slow stream day. Jim, I do appreciate you hanging out here, and I hope you're... Uh, enjoying the games but 
I know everybody's getting back to work right now, and so things are a little bit busy. So hopefully we can get back into the regular stream uh, and get some people hanging out again. Um, but really do enjoy this Torment deck. I think this is fun. And it, again, I really did miss hanging out with you guys, so it is an absolute pleasure to be back. Uh, yeah, this is easy deep. These are the kind of hands that you just always want. Um. <laughs> Let's make sure of something really quick. Okay. Don't really care about cast out. Um, it's a bit annoying, but it's not really. Get rid of their Splendid Angel. Just doing computer simulations on the second screen. Yeah, I feel you, Jim. I've been... Um, I don't know. I've been trying to get back into the swing of things because it's been... Obviously, a few uh, a few weeks since we've done a lot, but um, it takes a few days to get back into it. And hopefully, everybody getting back to work is a good thing, and not too many issues coming out of that. So uh, this is great, though. We get to grow spiral this turn, um, and then leave up this eliminate for their resplendent angel. Uh, the horn is a bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Probably should have taken that, to be fair, but that's fine. We kind of just have to stay alive, and then we're, we're good. And if they take their entire turn here to just play a horn, then we're not under any threat. See? And then, yeah, they've got a nice little engine going, but um, we should be able to, to kind of deal with that. Do have to pay a couple life here, but we do get Nissa out, which is great. And if we do this, we get to leave up a little bit. My dog is going crazy. Just making all kinds of weird noises. I don't know what's happening. All right. So now if they play their Resplendent Angel, we just get to eliminate. They could also cast out on Nyssa. Sure. Or the land, I guess. Although I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. Uh, we'll just play this and attack. Lyra Dawnbringer. Well, that's going to be frustrating. Murderous Rider would be just great. <laughs> We're gonna eliminate one of these. Okay, um... I'm gonna attack. If they want to trade, that's great. I am waiting to play this extinction event because we know they've got Lyra Dawnbringer, apparently a Baneslayer Angel. Hey! What is up? Oh no, my camera just died. Wait for it. Should be back here in a minute. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, alright. Extinction event. Odd. Get rid of them. What is going up, King Fizzy Gig? I love that name. How are you doing? Apparently we lost camera, so sorry about it. Overheating. Alright, let's take Lyra. And we're just gonna destroy everything. Not too much doing well. I love it. I'm glad you're doing well, buddy. Um, anything exciting going on today? or Wow, they are just killing it with these angels. Yeah, the horn. Definitely should have taken the horn. That was a mistake on my end. Oh no. Alright, well, we're just dead. Here, since this isn't actually... We're just gonna... There we go. Nope, just another Wednesday. Totally understand. In the same boat, my friend. Definitely in the same boat. Um, all right, one more game, I think. One more. 
Uh, appreciate everybody hanging out. I know it wasn't the, the chattiest of days, and I totally get it. It's a Wednesday. It's the first Wednesday back for a lot of people. So I totally understand. But excited to be back streaming. Excited to hang out with you guys again, of course. So, uh, yeah, fantastic, yeah. Uh, there is a way we play this where we don't have to take quite as much damage. So if we clear water pathway, but then we're out of blue here, and I kind of don't like that. I'd rather not risk it, so I am going to shock myself. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't care about most of these, to be honest. Um, I think I'll just take Cultivate. <laughs> The Sanctum is annoying, but the Cultivate's how they get there, so I'm going to do that. Hey, Tapia Cactus, what is up, everybody? Uh, yeah, we just play this. That's fine. We don't need to give them information that we've got blue yet. There's no reason to. We could have, I guess, represented more with blue, but it just doesn't matter too much, I don't think, here. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these removal spells are going to be dead against this deck. Uh, obviously very heavy control with the Sanctum, so I'm assuming we're going to be really digging for a Maelstrom Pulse here. Yep. Let's go ahead and scry. Definitely don't need that. <clears throat> Alright. Uh... The guy just tried to probably let him be. <laughs> Cactus, I love it. Dude, how are you doing, Cactus? I haven't heard from you in a while. You doing all right, buddy? Hope you had a good break. Uh, I didn't. I don't think you came into stream yesterday, but I certainly hope you had a fantastic break. Uh, you're doing good? Fantastic. Love it. Uh, do anything exciting over the holiday? Did anybody do anything exciting over the holiday? I hope. Hope everybody had a good time. First stream in a while? Yeah. We, I kind of took two weeks off, dude. I'll be honest. I just kind of needed a refresh between work and it resolves. It it got a little much. Uh, it got to be a little much. And so I felt it was it was a good time. Bot jumpstart. <laughs> I love it. Uh, as a quick reminder for everybody, we are going to be doing a card hunt uh, for Nicol Bolas God Pharaoh very soon. Um, don't know exactly when that's going to be. Uh, do be cranking that. Yeah, I feel you. Um, do have that coming very soon. Uh, hopefully at the end of the week. So either might even be tomorrow. I doubt it, but it could be, uh, might just be a Friday thing, but want to, uh, want to try and get some, some card hunt stuff going. We're going to be giving the card away when we find it. So if anybody is interested in that, you certainly can join us. We're only going to be giving it away to someone in chat so just a heads up all right well this is the point where we start to die uh cactus we actually have one it's just we don't have enough subscribers yet to whoops to unlock it uh so once we do it will be there In Discord, yeah, it is in Discord right now, but um, we do have others. Um, I'm actually going to submit zero here. I don't really want to give them an option to hit. Um, when you get a slot, Pog is the optimal play. I like it. I will take your word for it, Cactus. We'll do that. Well, I'm going to discard five cards, so these because they're useless. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, they got very lucky in the matchup, because realistically, I think this deck isn't great uh, against a lot of things, but they definitely pegged us correctly with a slow matchup here, so that's fine. Smart. <laughs> nope. 
Come with this. Enchantment removal goes a long way. Yeah, you're right. They just get to kill us here, I'm sure, but... We're gonna hit for three, darn it. Splash white for Cleansing Nova. Honestly, not a bad idea. I did think about splashing a fourth color. Um, I was actually kind of thinking red for a different reason, but um, I do kind of like the idea of of a, uh, a white splash here. Um, I do think there's some different configurations for this kind of deck. I went Soul Tide because of the control aspect. Um, obviously, there's a lot to be had there, but, you know, if it's not right, it's not right. Narset's not bad, but they can just kind of kill Narset. <laughs> and this just doesn't matter. Guys, as we're finishing out this game, I think I'm going to go ahead and close things out since our, our camera overheated. We we had a few people in chat, which I appreciate, but it was a bit of a slow day. Uh, we're definitely dead here, and that's fine. Um, but I certainly appreciate everybody coming to hang out and uh, hopefully enjoying the stream. Coolburger, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot, guys, that uh, you're here watching and hanging out with me. I know, um, like I said, we hadn't been streaming for a couple weeks, but that was solely because we were enjoying the holiday. So it's great to be back. Do expect more of these streams uh, so that way we can we can all hang out together. Uh, Jim, thanks so much, guys. I really have a I, I really appreciate it. Uh, do keep in mind in Discord, we'll probably announce when that card hunt will be. Um, so if you're interested in getting a free Nickel Bolas, God Pharaoh, um, please make sure to, to check that out and, and, and stay up to date there. But I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. And again, I will see you very, very soon for another gameplay video.